season that, that, that has been the focus. It's what, what they're going to do going forward. Has and Bernanke, though, been unduly negative? We, we get yeah. sort of suggestions from our analysts over there that he's not helping matters. He's, he's kind of politicised this whole moment in time as, as never quite before, and that's not a good thing. If you look at Obama's credibility and popularity ratings, sure. they're, they're historic lows. Yep. Uh, is, is it wise that the Fed chief goes the route that he has. It is, I know, and that, yeah. That's what I found very interesting. We, we yeah. saw him uh, in front of Congress a number of months ago and he sort of had his you know, mm. ha, ha, you know, face in his arms. He looked like he had mm. a big, you know, big night out. Yeah. And, and, and you know, going back to the point that what they need there in, in, a, in a, a, a consumption driven society is mm. confidence. They're the land of the brave. They need a leader, a general to get up there. And, and, and say, look, things aren't great. Don't yeah. sugarcoat things. But at the same time, we'll get through this. And we must sit there. We must go out and spend. We must generate this growth. We must do this, that, and the other. And, and then that's what they really need. So, no, it's not good having Bernanke and the like, yeah. uh, especially making bearish comments, is never going to actually help, uh, help a, a consumer-driven society. Is it helping, if we relate this all to Australia, mm. you know, not necessarily at all talking about Glenn Stevens, sure. but talking about another key official that sort of uh, straddles uh, policy and implementation. This is Ken Henry, Treasury Secretary. You know, headlines in the Australian mm. today, we are swamped. Uh, the, uh, you know, the, the top Mandarin is saying, we've talked about this before, whether government loses that kind of brains to the private sector before too long, saying, look, the demands that are being thrown our way uh, in Treasury are excessive, the independents, the Greens are just, you know, sw swapping us and uh, mm. policy clarity, forget it, mm. as a result. I think that, that again, the five-party coalition, there, we knew this was going to be a, a, a tough one there, three independents, the Greens, mm. Labor, look, I, I, again, uh, negative comments in, in, in this mm. market environment when there's a huge amount of fear going on and things can turn but will not be positive and, mm. and, and people must remember that. that, 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 that there is absolutely no point sugarcoating things and making mm. them appear better than they are, but at the same time, negative comments um, and, and, and bad press is really going to do very little to simulate anything. So, look, I think that our, our, our government structure at the moment is walking on eggshells because of that five party coalition and, uh, and, and certainly that we are much mindful of that. Well, you get what you deserve. That I is guess. correct. That's you get what right. you vote for. Uh, never be heard to complain on that front because everyone's got to do it unless you're not on the roll. Now, let's, <laughs> let's roll. <laughs> Steve, Alpha Luton here, Alley on Markets, mate. Um, every morning I seem to wake up and, and, and the, the, the US markets are uh, uh, well and truly in the black. By the time I get to the office, they seem to have put it down and, 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 and close in the red there. Um, they're, they're running out of momentum in the afternoon. Is that a fair comment? And, and what's really causing that momentum to, uh, to slow down in, in what already is, I suppose, some, some lacklustre sessions? You know, I think we're still seeing a, a huge correlation to the dollar today. We're seeing the, the, the dollar higher against the euro, and we're seeing some, not weakness, but just lack of enthusiasm in the United States. Um, you know, we're, we're through earnings earn, earning season, so we're not really getting anything exciting from earnings. Um, you know, the, the QE stories, QE2 story is behind us. Um, we're kind of winding down the year end, so I think we're just running out of, of data points. Um, you know, we have a huge run, you know, uh, almost 20% in the major indexes uh, over recent months, so we, we kind of had, had the move already. We're just kind of hanging here and going sideways. Um, I, I, you know, I don't know what the next catalyst is to get us up, uh, you know, 1250 on the S&P to get us to, uh, you know, 12.5 on the Dow or 13,000 on the Dow. Um, I think people are just kind of riding out the year right now. And, uh, you know, I think any news that gonna, is going to come out is probably going to be negative news from, from this point to the end of the year. Mm -hmm. It's a barrel. It's Alpha Luton here. Ali on Mark, it's just uh, bringing equities into that equation there. Obviously, gold above 1400 we saw some profit taking. We've seen bond yields increasing. Mm -hmm. Do you think this move is a, a, a move into equities? Do you think people are sort of getting a bit more risk on there and, and, and starting to, uh, to, to get off that, uh, the safe haven plays and, uh, and, and park some cash into, uh, into the equity markets? I think investors now are seeing a big move happening in, the, in bond yields and saying, OK, so what do we do next? Um, and I think that's what's happened in terms of uh, what we're seeing in the US share market for the past two days, um, where effectively the, the Dow has uh, flitted around the, the, uh, the unchanged mark. And I, I think what we're seeing is a degree of squaring up of uh, positions uh, and investors are basically going to take the weekend probably to be able to say, OK, so where do we put our bets next? Is it going to be the equity market now? 
move away from perhaps commodities, move away from uh, perhaps um, uh, the, the bond market and move into to the equity market. And next week we have got a lot of economic data in, in the US. Uh, inflation figures, industrial production, retail sales, housing starts, you name it, everything by the kitchen sink's going to be thrown mm. us next week. If you get some solid readings, well, that Santa Claus rally may have uh, some legs yet um, and uh, may you know, kick us into um, uh, next year. So I think it is a time for investors to, to take stock of the situation. We have got this change occurring, change in sentiment, right. and it's a case of looking at your asset allocation. Get more with my guest host uh, all this hour, Al Fullerton from Allium Financial. It is that latter kind of unquantifiable damage, but still mm. it's damage all the same to a hitherto untarnished brand when it comes to safety. Yeah. You can't put a price on that. You can't really get compo either no, you can't. in terms of from any third parties. Yeah. No, I mean, it's, it's the worst press you could, you could, you could ever imagine there mm. and, and Qantas with their, their, their safety record. Look, airlines are an extremely tough place. To, uh, to be in as, a, as an equity holder. Um, you have a, a huge amount of variables, as we've seen, be it oil pricing, be it um, you know, global financial situations, be it terrorism. I mean, there, there are thousands of different factors that come into play here. And, and, uh, and look, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a tough, and Qantas is, is, is certainly paying for it at the moment. Now, uh, winners and losers, mm. as they pay for it, you get the impression Virgin Blue, which is only working in overdrive with John Borghetti, Ex Qantas wanting to grab that lucrative business side of the business. Yeah. Is this going to be the real haymaking window of opportunity? Oh, look, you, when you nail on the head, you know, yeah. go, go and make the hay while the sun is shining. They, yeah. They've got to pounce on that. Um, certainly, they, they, there's opportunity where, where, where people, and safety would be the number one. I think if you surveyed every Qantas passenger, yeah. uh, safety comes down to the, the, the most important, uh, you know, factor. So, look, it, it's, it's a huge loss there for Qantas. It's something which they have to manage extremely well um, and, and get this sorted. And so, uh, look, I think it's a very opportune time for for such airline carriers such as Virgin, uh, Virgin Blue, Virgin Atlantic to, uh, to, to get on board. Merrill's lowering its price target on Qantas. Are you, in light of that, believing this could be though a longer term buying opportunity that they will bounce back? Uh, it may not happen this month, it may not happen six months from now, but you know, 12 months out we could be thinking this was a bit of a storm in a teacup. Um, look, I don't, I mean, I don't do a huge amount, to be honest. What I said yeah. before, I, I tend to stay clear of airline stocks. Mm. Um, there, there are just so many variables and unknowns that we've seen the, the airline run on the back of increased foot traffic, um, strong US dollar, people heading overseas, um, you know, spending, uh, spending the, uh, sorry, strong Aussie dollar, you yeah. know, heading over to the and US. Taking see, of that, there's, there's yeah. a thousand of variables. You know, oil is now, you know, it's uh, been around that, that, the 80s for, for a long time. There's forecasted, you know, obviously that, that could be up towards that 100 market. But they would have hedged on that, as they, you know. They would have, but well, yeah. The majority of it would certainly have been, been hedged at that level, but, but it's the, the unknown variables, yeah. there, are, there are so many uh, different uh, reasons for this stock to, to go up, to go down, right. to sit flat, that, um, that, that, that certainly from a broker's point of view... Um, but you love volatility, don't you? I do well, like volatility, but unfortunately my, my crystal ball isn't working, yeah. my octopus, and I can't see oh, what's, dear, uh, dear, what's dear. going on. We need maybe a prawn or a uh, something or other to replace that one. We do indeed. Ball. Well, says in file, it's, it's sort of prawn eating season, isn't it, coming up? <laughs> Very much so. Tell me, if yeah. you will, then, uh, just ba basically based on strategy, though, what do they do? What do you do when you've kind of been battered and bruised, whether it's airlines, whether it's any other sector? You know, you, you take, say, for instance, um, uh, you know, uh, anything that's, that's considered a PR disaster. Sure. What's the best strategy at this moment in time to recover that? Oh, oh, look, I, I think certainly what they're doing at the moment is, is, is putting out fires. I think they're starting to point fingers at, at who's to blame. They're suing Rolls-Royce. They're mm -hmm. saying, look, we didn't actually make the, 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 the components of this. We, we, we simply are the, uh, are the airline. I think that there's certainly, unfortunately, the, 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 the cause is to point fingers and, uh, and say, you know what, Rolls-Royce, uh, you know, you've been making, uh, making motors for, for 100 years. You, uh, you should know better. Then again, Oprah's diehards jumped on board X US. That is, I mean, is that publicity Philip going to endure? I mean, can they do more of that? I, I believe there's a new swanky ad campaign as well, launching lots of, uh, you know, soft focus and, uh, and nice this is with the music. Yeah. And John Travolta would, yep. would fly in exactly. on, the, on the plane. Yep. Yeah, look, they, they love, you know, they, they, they've, uh, they've got the new soundtrack to their adverts. Mm. They're, they're certainly uh, really working on the PR front there. And, and they have to look into mm. competitive environment. You know, first and foremost. But then again, Oprah, like, Oprah snubbed them. She came in on the private jet. Yeah, well, look, if you're worth, you know, 
half a yard, you probably would or whatever she was. But, they could uh, just get her an A380 to her, could well, they? Well, that's right. They should have yeah. done that, but she wouldn't have found the A380 because they're all well grounded, I, I think. See. So she, she probably, oh, it would be probably safe at the moment. I thought they got some back up in the air. They have, surely. Oh, I'm sure they have. They have someone even out there, a suite. I, I'm sure you could have enticed her with that. They don't do suites, though, do they? That's Singapore Airlines. I, I, I don't fly that yeah. into the plane, Carson. Well, I so. mean, you've got to go through it to get